Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that the school football team used four running backs throughout its season. The statistics of each player are given as under. Now in the first part we have to organize the data in a matrix listing players from least attempts to most attempts. In second part we have to find that what is the dimension of the matrix? In third part we have to find that what is the value of A23? And in fourth part we have to add the elements in column 2 and integrate the result. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here in this table we are given the players and their statistics. In the first part, we have to form a matrix for the data, listing the players from least attempts to most attempts, that is, from least number of attempts to the most number of attempts. Now we take categories of statistics in columns. They will be written on top of matrix and outside the matrix. So we write Games in column 1, attempts in column 2, yards in column 3, and averages in column 4. Now we form a square bracket representing matrix and we list the pairs in rows from least attempts to most attempts. The player's name will be written outside the package in rows. Now here you can see C has least number of attempts that is 94. So we write C in row 1. Then comes D. with number of attempts is equal to 142. So, we write D in row 2. Then we write A in row 3 and B in row 4. So, we have listed the players in rows from least attempts to most attempts that is C has least number of attempts which is equal to 94 and B has most number of attempts which is equal to 161. Now we will write elements in the matrix. Now in row 1 we have player C so we write entries of player C in row 1 in their respective columns. First we have gains that is 11. Then we have attempts that is 94. Then yards that is 8.45. And average, that is 9.0. In row 2, we have player D. So, we write entries of player D in row 2 in their respective columns. So, for player D, we have games, that is 10. Then, attempts that is 142, then yards, that is 548, and lastly we will write average, that is 3.9. Similarly, in row 3, we have player A, so we will write entries of player A in row 3 in the respective columns, and that will be 9, 154, 890 and 
So elements in the third row are 9, 154, 890 and 5.7. Then in the fourth row we will write entries of player B in the respective columns. First we will write games that is 12, then attempts that is 161, next yards that is 994 and lastly average that is 6.1. So this is our required matrix in which we have organized the data listing the players from least attempts to most attempts. Now in the second part we have to find dimension of this matrix. Now for dimension we see number of rows and columns. We know for n rows and m columns The dimension of matrix is n cross n. Now here you can see we have four rows and four columns. So dimension of this matrix is 4 cross 4. Now in the third part we have to find the element A23. Now element A23 corresponds to second row and third column. Now here let us see the element that corresponds to second row and third column. Now here you can see that element is 548. So A23 is equal to 548. Now in last part we have to add the elements in column 2 and interpret the result. Now here elements in column 2 are 94 142, 154 and 161. Now let us add the elements of column 2. Now elements of column 2 are A12, A22, then A32 and A42. Now adding all these elements. Now the element that corresponds to first row and second column is 94. Then the element that corresponds to second row and second column that is the element A22 is 142. Similarly A32 is 154 and A42 is 161. So on adding this is equal to 551. Now we know that second column is representing number of attempts. Now when we add the elements of column 2 then we get 551. It means total number of attempts by all the players is equal to 551. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.